Pulse 95. Between local lines, notes from the Emirate. Hello, welcome back on to the Morning Majlis. And we're all about exciting talks this uh, this hour and this day. Uh, we have an important guest with us today. A very exciting uh, conversation we'll be having with her. We're going to be talking about 1971 Design Space. It's a multifunctional design space dedicated to the display and discussion of all forms of contemporary design, ranging from graphic, furniture to interior, interactive uh, design, and also new technologies. Now, uh, we have with us here the head of 1971 Design Space, Fatma Al Mahmoud. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you with us. So we want to start talking about uh, what is the Desert Cast exhibition? What is the main message behind it? Um, Desert Cast exhibition towards an identity and uh, is an exhibition that uh, uh, investigates the regional design identity. Yeah. And the project started back in 2018 where there was an initial collection that was commissioned by the Dubai Design Week. And eventually this year we took it upon ourselves with 1971 to further the project through exploration of uh, developing the project from the fabrication process to investigating the identity even more by bringing in the exhibition. Um, so the project started with the three Kuwait-based designers, uh, Jasim Nashmi, Kautar Safar, and Ricardo Balzukas. Um, so when we talk about investigating the regional identity, what these guys did was um, they kind of critiqued the application of classical architectural elements that we see all or that we see surrounding us basically in our gulf houses have it be the interior or the exterior so we notice these gypsum cornices that are everywhere i think you've grown up in a khaliji house right. or a, yeah. a yeah. house in this region Absolutely. where yeah. you're surrounded with such elements so it's that's true. how the investigation started and when i in 2018 when the when their project launched it had 36 original pieces here in 1971 the setup of the exhibition the exhibition design also kind of investigates the story even further more um, and they've expanded on the project through the commissions that we have done for this project and to bring it and relate it more to the UAE, I've uh, asked them to collaborate with a UAE-based architect who investigated the architectural deeply here, especially Sharjah, and she is Talin Hasbar. Um, Talin Hasbar has uh, created, out of her research, a conclusion of coming up with public installations that will be throughout Sharjah, inshallah. Wow, this is going to be exciting times. Now, we've got this, the, the 1971 design space, and uh, talk to us about, there's a lot of people who drive past Flag Island, yes. and new people to charge as well, and they think, oh, it's a nice flag. Where is it located exactly? It's exactly where Sharjah's biggest landmark is. <laughs> that is the flagpole in Sharjah. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you spot the biggest flag in the UAE, in mm. Sharjah, I mean, that's mm. where we are. We're located right underneath uh, mm -hmm. that flagpole. Now, talk to us okay. about uh, it uh, being a design and art space as well, and a great meeting point for a lot of people to to check it out. So, how can people visit it and and uh, is any uh, yeah. attend this exhibition or even visit the design space itself? And uh, what can they expect, and who can attend? Okay, uh, we're open to public. Our biggest. Uh, mm, I'd say our message is that we want to be the hub to everyone in the region and mm. we want to connect designers and the public together through our programmings and uh, exhibitions that we do. Mm. Hence, we are open to public, but given uh, the current situation and COVID uh, restrictions, we advise people to RSVP and book their visits okay. through RSVP at 1971design.ae. Uh, for this upcoming exhibition, which opens for on the 7th of November, we would like to have people RSVP before they come in just because we have a maximum capacity in this space. But we are open and we welcome everyone. So tell us what's coming up next. Um, next, well, it's going to be quite a busy week for us. Uh, How so? Tell us. Yeah. So <laughs> <Yes>. excited. <laughs> so um, in this space, we have Desert Cast. And mm -hmm. with Talin's uh, 
public installations that I've mentioned. One would be located in Flag Island in Sharjah. Okay. And then we will be having uh, another exhibition happening also on the 9th of Uh, November Mm -hmm. and that runs till the 14th of November which will be a Dubai Design Week that is an exhibition called Fash Cultivate curated by myself and Khulud Thani uh, so Fash Cultivate was an, exhibi- uh, was an exhibition celebrating date palms and we had it last November mm-hmm. um, in the space but for the time being it returns at Dubai Design Week uh, Khulud and I kind of thought of this exhibition as a research project in the beginning and we wanted to investigate how we can come up with uh, getting textiles, fabrics out of the date palms, fibers and it turned out that that could happen so we worked with Earthy Contemporary Crafts Council and we got the job done. Nice. Wow, exciting times indeed. Now, I'd like to know a little bit more about behind the scenes elements. Now, when you come up with the idea of saying, okay, this is what we want to do, this is the Mm -hmm. exhibition. Now, us simpletons turn up, enjoy the event and say it was great. I don't know behind the scenes how you have to go through and the process you have to go through to contact the artists, get them to uh, help out and get them to showcase the work. How much time does this all require? Well, it mostly take at least a good six months, I'd say. Wow. Yes. Long time. Long time. It's about setting the theme right. or have, have it be a research like what we did with uh, Pash Cultivate. Um, it really depends on what approach I'm going to be having with the next program or the next uh, mm. exhibition. And then it would depend really on how much time it needs. Because to be fair to the project, it would it would actually take that much time of planning. Wow. Wow. Well, we got to appreciate to get that. the appeal yeah. of the of <laughs> so, visitor. Exactly. Yeah. So whenever you go down to these art spaces, it's not just about some paintings that have just been We just go up, there, yeah. just, you know, yeah, walk around, we we'll browse through. Oh, okay, this is nice, this is yeah, nice. But there's so much work that there's goes so on. There's so much work. There's <laughs> yeah, so much uh, sleepless nights. Oh, wow. There's so much communication back and that. forth. Yeah. yeah. we got to appreciate that. Now, more. I'd like to get um, your final thoughts on on um, encouraging people to come uh, to, to the uh, seven, 1971 design space and take part in these exhibitions because it is a slow moving idea that people are adapting Emiratis and mm-hmm. the youth in general talk to us about how that's how uh, the, the, the the roadmap of getting them a bit more involved and getting them more encouraged are you happy with this situation or you think there needs to be more involvement of people to say let's be very artsy um, so far actually alhamdulillah like we can we do have a good engagement but of course we would like for that engagement to uh, expand mm-hmm. um, uh, we'd love to see more students coming in more uh, public coming in because we are, like are I to, to be honest our uh, people are the designers and mm-hmm. the artists mostly but lately we've witnessed that a lot of uh, people from the public with different backgrounds have been attending our exhibitions and shows. So that kind of gives mm. you a direction to where we are headed with uh, the mm. engagement of people. So, yeah. Well, wow. something to look forward to. Desert Cast it is and kicks off. Let's uh, do a final call on the timing. Kicks and off the- one? It kicks off on the 7th of November. Okay. Mm. Um, we will be open from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, people can book in their visits. We will be having also a performance of uh, the extrusion, perfor- it's an extrusion performance of the gypsum. Uh, that would be happening from 4.30 to 7.30, okay. in which I would encourage people to book because we have limited spots for okay. that. Um, Dubai Design Week, Fash Cultivate opens on the 9th to the 14th. Uh, working hours, I believe, for Dubai Design Week are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be located in Building 5 at Dubai Design District. One more thing I forgot to mention, that with Talin's uh, public installations, the one in Khorfa Khan, Plaquepole, and a date Plaquepole would be available uh, for viewing after the 14th and okay. that is only because we are ha- also going to have the publication release for the exhibition on the 14th of November. Okay. 
so we can so there's more of a reason to visit Khorfa Khan now absolutely yeah of course yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna postpone my visit to oh. the 14th yeah. to the 14th exactly. of course <laughs> come grab your publication uh, copy from the space and you can go on a journey throughout Sharjah inshallah yeah of course well forward. so <laughs> much to look forward to thank you very much for joining us this morning Fatma Mahmoud head of 1971 design space and we will be sure to be down there right Absolutely. after our shows inshallah yes thank you guys for so having excited. me Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Well, stay tuned to Pulse 95. Lots to get through. Up next is all the hype for the Sharjah International Book Fair. The event season is back again in the Emirate of Sharjah. If you liked this episode of The Morning Majlis, drop a like and subscribe. 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse.